Hey everybody, Michael Soothing here. I thought it would be interesting to show you some animal ASMR. We've done this before, once or twice, to a limited degree, but this time I have a long, un uninterrupted, uninterrupted session of a cat purring and showing you how it can do self-induced ASMR, which I find quite relaxing myself if I'm sitting and reading or something like that. And this particular cat comes along and sits up next to me and starts to um, soothe itself through purring and biscuit making. So um, let's check in on this orange cat and see what it does and see if you find this relaxing also. He is so thrilled with this mommy blanket, which he camouflages into. He's just barely full grown. Got himself a blankie, do you see? Listen to this purr. ASMR soothed and when I talk to him he starts purring this with my high quality recorder his purr sometime and just have like a half hour of him purring you can hear it on this video but I've got a high quality recorder where you'd be able to get the real sound of it and content that he can hardly stand it. ever gone to sleep to the sound of a cat purring next to you I have it's very soothing it's kind of like they transmit relaxation vibe nowadays I don't know if they let cats into hospitals but in some cases they'll allow a comfort dog to be with 
its owner to recuperate from surgery and things like that because they have found that the person recuperates quicker and better. to sleep, but I'm not sure I'd want to spend that much time sleeping. That might be a little bit excessive. He's having so much fun getting comfy that he can't stop getting comfy. are going actually most of the time here. making biscuits like you wouldn't believe. You have to listen to this with earbuds or headphones if you want the real effect. just noticed that we're videotaping and he had no idea before that. He says, that's interesting, but why are you doing it? Now he's going to talk just a little bit. Are you going to talk to us just a little bit? Going to talk just a little bit, huh? You're a very happy kitty, aren't you? He's a rescue cat. He had no home. At first he was very feral, very afraid. People, but now him and I are best buddies. Yeah, he's a happy kitty now. Hey, don't do that when you're on camera, that's rude. He's very fastidious and clean. He's Oh, I hear some new sounds. Likes to keep very, very clean. Silent meow. That's his way of saying hello. Yeah, that's his way of saying. The more content he is, the louder his purr becomes. He's interested in the camera, but yeah, I think he's going to go for the uh, mommy blanket again. He's looking for a choice spot to latch on. He will 
do this sometimes for a half hour straight and then sleep upside down. He seems to be very appreciative of having a home and a comfy spot now that the weather outside is getting cold. He was somehow separated from his mom soon after birth. And him and a sibling, a sister cat of his, were coming around begging for food. And now the lady of the house feeds him every day, twice a day. Instead of being scared of us like before, he's very, very friendly. So he feels secure and comfortable now. But he's not quite adult age, I don't think. Still juvenile. Just getting out of kittenhood into adulthood. So, I may have to adopt him. I don't know. They want me to adopt him. He's a very intelligent cat. If you tell him not to scratch on the furniture or something like that, he gets all upset and uh, plaintively meows at you like, I'm sorry if I did anything wrong. You can see it disturbs him. If he gets chastised, it'll disturb him for a couple of hours. Then he'll be better again. There he goes. He suddenly got very curious about the camera. When I closed it, he wanted to know why. And he jumped back up. So don't stop filming me. I like being on camera. I want to relax everyone else as well as being relaxed myself. I think is the message he was trying to convey. Somehow he knows that he's going to be part of relaxation therapy. For those who might benefit from the purring sound of his contentment. You can see, once again, he's got pretty much all of himself involved. other paws going over there. I've actually never had a cat that does this like quite like this. I've seen them make biscuits before on something soft, but this cat may be the most content self-relaxation therapy technique cat I have ever encountered. Also got a really cool personality when he talks. He'll 
come up and carry on a, ca a conversation with me in cat language. And I can usually discern what he's trying to say since there are different types of meows for I'm hungry versus I want to go outside versus I'd like to play versus I want you to pet me because I'm feeling a little bit insecure. They can have different types of purrs also. I think that's kind of interesting. any other domestic animal that purrs, although a good dog has a wide range of vocalizations they can deploy to communicate with you. If they don't purr, they can of course express themselves in a wide variety of ways. I had a cat the other day that was following me around the neighborhood on my walk. Even in the animal world, for some reason animals seem to sense that I have a calming presence on people and nature. I'm not saying that to, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not trying to blow my own horn about it. I've been told, though, many times, and when I'm at a house with a pet, they always seem to gravitate to me, like this cat adopted me when he came here. And the other cats have as well. We had, we were dog sitting a couple days ago for a dog. And it was the same thing. This dog decided to adopt me and hang around with me all day long. This poor cat here doesn't even have a name so far as I know. I might name him. We just call him Orange right now. He's going to sleep now, so it's time for me to say, don't ASMR and drive. Yeah, although I don't think this cat has to worry about driving. He has ASMR'd himself to sleep, oh, just a little bit more, close, almost there. And then he'll be in Mouse Chasing Dreamland. You know, keep down the rodent population in the vicinity. I have to experiment and see, does the purr come through stronger? Here or down here? I don't know. Oh, just when we thought he was going to sleep. Well, 
this is quite a long per session, isn't it? Sometimes if I'm sitting on the couch reading or something like that, he'll come lay right up next to me and start purring. It's rather ingratiating behavior. Of course, I know it's some kind of strange evolutionary advantage they've developed to make people think that they have great affection that, you know, but nonetheless. They do appreciate the interaction because he will ask sometimes for it with that specific kind of meow. Animals have a natural instinct for what is soothing. That's why I thought this might make a good ASMR video for some people. It's not everybody's thing, obviously. But I think some people will find it somewhat relaxing. If I could do a static shot and not move around so much and get the full... Oh, I know how I can do that. I'll use the external microphone and embed it close to him next time. Get the full sound of the purr without having to move the camera around. That'll work. Use the task cam next time. So that's it.